Hey, this is Kevin Stanfield back at you with another installment of movie reviews of movies I haven't seen yet. This week's fabulous, but yet unseen, movie is the third of the Equalizer franchise, brilliantly titled Equalizer 3. This film, of course, stars Denzel Washington. You know, people often confuse me with Denzel, mainly because we're both old black dudes. Denzel is back in his role of Robert McCall, former CIA operative. McCall apparently held the agency record for killing the largest amount of people in the shortest amount of time. Hey, Denzel, what was that record anyway? Nine seconds. That's what you have to decide your fate. Nine seconds. Sounds like a pretty cool concept for the game show network. In The Equalizer, McCall single-handedly took on the entire Russian mob. Now, I've seen this movie about 50 times. In the sequel, Equalizer 2, McCall is back, taking on street gangs and corruption inside the agency. I'm retired. Now, I've seen this one one and a half times, which was one time too many. In this installment, Robert McCall moves to a small town in Italy, where he finally finds some peace. Because we all know the small towns in Italy are the go-to place for brothers these days. However, this piece is short-lived when Bobby McCall runs afoul of the local mafia. Now, the Costa Nostra in Italy is playing with a significant home field advantage. By the way, have you noticed that everybody that's close to Denzel in these movies ends up getting their behind seriously kicked? I hope he keeps me off his Christmas list for the next one. Anyway, as we can expect, I think, Denzel ain't having it. Whatever it is that you and your friends do. Please, do it somewhere else. You warning me? I'm preparing. <laughs> this movie also features a film reunion between Denzel and a growed up Dakota Fanning. Police found multiple dead bodies on that vineyard. Hmm. You kill him? <laughs> I look like a guy who kills people. I'm warming to the possibility. <laughs> Too shit. You may recall that Denzel kilt up half of Mexico trying to avenge a kidnapped Dakota Fanning in Man on Fire. Hey, one thing we got to ask Denzel before we go, somebody as smooth as you, what do you do to unwind after filming a movie like this? I still damage the odd fellow here and there, you know, use some various utensils and devices to uh, administer proper uh, damage when, when necessary. I know that's right. Put it all together, add it all up. I think you're looking at another blockbuster for director Antoine Fuqua, Sony Pictures, and of course, the great Denzel Washington. All in all, I think I'm really going to like this movie if I get a chance to see it. Thanks to the good folks at Sony Pictures for all the input. This is Kevin, and we'll see you next time for another fabulous installment of movie reviews for movies I haven't seen yet.